Hello everybody! Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to install WordPress 3.0 and turn on multi-site. It's actually pretty easy but it can be a little tricky um, until you see how it works. So the first step is to download WordPress uh, 3.0. Just go to wordpress.org, click on this download button and then click on download right here. That will download the latest version and as you can see I've already downloaded the file and I've already unzipped it and it creates a file, uh, a folder called WordPress. Inside it you'll find all the files relating to WordPress that you'll need to upload onto your server. And so I've already created a test site at test.webdesigncompany.net and uh, as you can see when I go to it right now test.webdesigncompany.net it there's nothing there so it has a forbidden um, access uh, um, look. So alright what I'm gonna do Step one, upload all the files. All right, now that the WordPress files have uploaded, you need to make sure that you have all the database details ready to go. So what you're gonna need is the database name, the username, the password, and the host. And so um, I've got a database already set up and I've got all my information gathered. And so let's go uh, set this website up. All right, so I'm gonna go to the website and it is gonna come up with the default error message that it has when it doesn't have a wp-config.php file and that when I click on this create a uh, configuration file it will uh, take me to the uh, famous uh, five minute install wizard so let's do that alright uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click get let's continue and I'm gonna copy over a lot of the information from my database um, configuration file that I had previously set up, well not set up, but uh, the file that I had copied all my information into. Alright, the host goes here and as you can see the password is very secret, do not tell anybody. Alright, uh, table prefix. Uh, it's a good idea to change this to something else other than WP underscore because uh, it makes it harder for uh, hackers in case they for some reason want to hack into your site. Um, okay, so I'm going to change it to wp3test underscore. Alright, click submit and that says, okay, we've got all the information we need, now let's do the install. Alright, so we're going to click on run the install and now we're almost done. Uh, we need to put in a site name, so I'm going to call it uh, WordPress 3 test site. Um, for the username, it's a good idea to not use admin as your main user. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, pick my name. And for password, I'm going to go ahead and put uh, password. I know, so, so secret. Um, okay. Email, I'm going to put in my email. And since this is a test site, I do not want it to show up in uh, Google. And then click install WordPress. Alright, so we're almost, actually we're done with the installation of WordPress and now we can log in. Password. And um, now the next step is setting up WordPress uh, multi-site. So the way we do that is we're going to need to copy a piece of code into our wp-config file. So here is this piece of code that uh, we're gonna okay so there is um, I'm gonna refresh my um, server okay so there's a file called wp-config.php that you're gonna need to open and edit and uh, put this line of code at the bottom or yeah, I'm going to put it at the bottom. And now I'm going to save it and it uploads to the server again. And now you'll notice under tools, there's a network option. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And uh, now we've got this, uh, a couple of options that we can pick to uh, get our network started. So um, it gives you the option of whether you want to use a subdomain or subdirectory. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and go ahead with a subdirectory and then you need to give your network a name. Um, all right, and then admin user, you can pick whoever is gonna be the admin user for everybody. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit install, and now we just need to follow instructions, but I'm gonna do it in reverse order. Uh, 
first step, I'm going to go ahead and go to number three and copy this to the HT access file. Now you'll notice that there is no HT access file when you uh, install the uh, WordPress system um, by default. So the way it uh, is easiest to create it, if your server allows uh, for the WordPress installation to actually create it by itself, is to click uh, on permalinks. I'm going to go ahead and open it in a new tab. And um, I'm going to go ahead and customize my permalink. I'm going to change it to this to keep it really simple. All right, hit save. And now if I go back to um, WordPress and I hit refresh, I'll notice that there is a .ht access file. All right, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, replace this with the, let's see, all the information it had told me to replace it with. Where did it go? Okay, so I copied that and I'm going to paste it um, here. All right, that's it. So now I hit save. It will upload that file and we have taken care of number three. Let's do number two. Okay, so number two, you want to pay attention to. Um, basically, you're going to be copying this piece of uh, code into the wp-config.php file that we already had open earlier, uh, but we're going to be putting it at a very specific spot. It has to go above this line right here, which says, that's all, stop editing, happy blogging. So we're going to be pasting it right there. Save and upload. Okay, now that I've got the file uploaded, now we just need to do the last one, which is, or the first step, which is uh, create a directory called blogs.dir. All right, uh, blogs.dir is going to be under the wp-content folder um, or directory, and you're going to click on new folder, and I'm going to give it that name, and it is we've finished all the steps. So as you see at the very end, it says once you've completed these steps, your network is enabled and configured, you will have to log on again. So click on this link and it'll ask you to log on again. And uh, Melvin Ram, password, and we are logged in and almost in business. Uh, you'll see that you've got a super admin user that has been created. Well, it's actually not a, a super admin user. It's just the um, user you used as your admin has been uh, given some additional options um, that are available to a super user. And uh, all right, so we've got a warning. Okay, the current theme supports featured images. You must have enable image uploads on the uh, options page for it to work. Okay, let's do that. Uh, I click on the options page and it will take me and at the bottom I've got uh, a few different options that will allow my users to be able to uh, upload images, music, and video and I can also enable them to utilize plugins that I've installed. So I'm going to click on save changes and that is it. Now we can actually go in and create users, we can create additional sites and um, Actually, that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to create a new site. I'm going to click on sites, and we've got the option to create it right here. I'm going to call it WP um, Dev or WP Development. So WordPress Development. I'm going to give it my email as the admin, and I click Add Site. All right, so the site has been created. We can visit it. Um, let's see. Yep, and WordPress development, it is the 2010 theme, that is the default theme, and uh, we can also log in by clicking on backend, and that will take us directly into the uh, admin panel for that specific site. Uh, we can go back to the main site um, by, again, clicking on sites, and then clicking on backend, and that will take us to the WordPress 3 test site, which we originally created. So that is it. Uh, hopefully you learned something, and uh, this will help make it easier to set up a WordPress 3.0 and multi-site.